Hello and welcome to your in-depth horoscope forecast for week commencing the 14th of October for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please also click or tap on the bell notification alert. This week sees the Sun and Mars continuing their journey through the sign of Libra. Libra is cardinal, so it's powerful, but it does seek to achieve its goals through good communication, negotiation and collaboration. Last week's full moon in Aries is still very much to the fore this week, however, and that embraced the powerful influence of Pluto. If a relationship does feel a bit stuck because someone isn't being very cooperative, this can really be quite a touch and go moment, particularly in the first half of this week, as the sun continues to square up to the power of Pluto. But Mercury is forging an awesome angle to Neptune, and Mercury and Venus are in the deep and passionate sign of Scorpio. And this angle between Mercury and Neptune in the first half of this week asks us to use analysis, Mercury and Scorpio, along with our sixth sense and our perceptions of Neptune in Pisces. And they're combining superbly well. So seeing beneath the surface of what seems obvious can be very valuable. And then in the second half of this week, Mercury forges a very penetrating angle with Pluto itself. And this really can help us to get to the nitty gritty of what's essential. Now Venus is going to forge a stabilising link to Saturn later in this week. So if there is a tie that we can really relate to and feel secure around, that can get stronger. But then Venus goes on to forge a quite beautiful angle to Neptune. If you do meet someone for the first time, this is quite an auspicious connection. Can it in some situations point even to true love? So if you're fortunate enough to have a date with someone that you really click with at the very end of this week, it could prove to be truly significant. But Mars in Libra continues in the first half of this week to be in that obtuse angle to Uranus. And Uranus is in the part of the overall horoscope to do with our values and our resources and money. So if there is some talking to be done, but who does tend to get their way in relationships, it's possible that some of this could be linked to differences in core values or down to just dirty money. So if there is some talking to do, I think using the energy of Venus and Mercury, which are more penetrating, can be a real asset to us all. Your specific forecast, Taurus, suggests that as you start this week, certainly in its first half, there may be a sense that you can't balance what you want to do for you as an individual against all the obligations and responsibilities you have to others. But actually the second half of this week gives you a wonderful platform to really effectively communicate with others. This is going to be partly through just sharing how you feel in a good and clear way, but also trying to sense out other people's needs as well. This can be really helpful. And with Venus, your ruler, combining beautifully with Neptune at the end of this week, but also with the more stabilising energies of Saturn, you can have it both ways. You can get something that's solid and gives you that tangible progress that you can relate to so easily. But also there could be something that's a bit more ethereal shaping up, which actually gives you a huge sense of just quiet, very gentle, but very uplifting satisfaction. If you'd like to know what the next year would hold for you personally, based on your time, date and place of birth, please see the link beneath this video. You can get 30% off and the rest of this year free. But for now, it's been a real pleasure being with you. Good luck and goodbye.